Oh, uh, hey everybody, Joel Mal is here. Welcome back to another opening video. Today, we're going to be going over some of the recent purchases that I've made to fill out my collection and or move on to the next <laughs> potential buyer. So, sit back, relax, and if this is something you like to watch, hit that like, subscribe, and follow button. And keep up with all the misadventures of <laughs> Malice and Miss Malice. So let's check this out. We got one, two, three, four packages today. Three are from uh, Facebook and... No, three are from eBay? And one's from Facebook? Or two are from eBay and two are from Facebook. I don't know. They're from everywhere. But let's go ahead and see the first one. First one we're going to start with is going to be the probably the slowest one so it's gonna be this one now these do have all my uh, personal information on it so I'm gonna try to cover it up for you but this one's from Kurt and Kurt's from uh, Iowa and yeah so I don't even know what it is half of this stuff I think I know what some of it is but I don't know what all of it is I know what two of the things are well, actually, I know what three things are for sure. This is the only one I don't know what it is. Or if I knew what it is, it's... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I know that's so silly. I order a lot of stuff. And I don't know what it is all the time. Well, this potentially could be the best thing. It pop this is the best thing. Well, I was going to open this last, but it looks like I'm opening it first. So... Triple container so one box two box and then here we go this is like I said the biggest one and there it is it's a copy of Proto Trigger Ooh, that's a I thought it was just a bend it's alright though it's not so bad Alright, so the main thing is I gotta check to make sure it's real. I know that sounds silly. So then I got it in my hand. Actually, we're gonna go with this side. That's the side I opened up, you can tell. You can tell when they ripped it on this side. How do you rip that? It's weird. I couldn't tell from the picture, probably. But it's alright, it's not a big deal. The main thing about this is this right here. So. This manual is pretty cherry. So, yeah. Super cherry manual. We have the map, the poster, here's the game. So far, everything looks good. I mean, granted, I do have one, two, three copies of Chrono Trigger right here, so I, I can reference if I wanted to. But what we're going to do with this one is we're going to open it up right here live. So we always verify, make sure I have my handy dandy tool set right here. This and everything's cool on the cart, and I'm cool for everything else. So take this off. This is definitely a teeter totter, so I don't want to mess something up. Pull that, put that on its back. Right, so. Now, any high end game. You have to check. You have to. You have to. All right, we're gonna check it together. So tabs are looks like the tabs are good. They're not broken. So it's lift up and out. Cart looks really clean on the inside. And uh, looks like we have ourselves our game. So very nice. Put that back in there. It fits like so. 
Take the cart, tabs in first at an angle, set down, make sure they're good. You should be able to flip it. Take my tool. I'll need both. And again, if you don't have a tool to open up your carts, I suggest, um, I use iFixit kits, I'm not sponsored, so it's not sponsored, but that's what I use. Um, I got mine from it, watching Linus Tech Tips uh, way before I saw anybody else using them. So <laughs> definitely from the PC side, they were the ones that I went with. All right, so let's go ahead and take this and pop this in here. So besides the two, there's like two, like a Nintendo Power insert, and then there would have been a uh, another insert, like a, I'm trying to think what the word is. I'm, I'm like, oh, hold on. Before I even put this manual back, got to put it in a manual bag. I guess the first thing I was going to do as soon as I got this, because this manual is so cherry. Like, the game's really nice, too. The box, I didn't see the box had that little rip on the back. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, still doesn't matter. The price point was really good. I'm just disappointed because you couldn't tell from the pictures. It looked like an indention. So, that actually being a rip does change a little bit of significance. But, got the manual all nice and pretty. I mean, that manual, whew, that's like an 8.4, I'm oh, sorry, 9.4, 9.6 manual. It's solid. So, if I'm ever going to build the perfect set, that would be one of them. This right here. Whew, man, carts. Get in there. That hurt nothing. Maybe you're home. Okay, so I'll put it in a retro protector after the show. So it'll be right there, and then I still got to do all that. So very cool, very cool. First one's done. Let's go ahead and get it. I don't need my tool anymore, so that'll be done. Let's go ahead and get the next one. Let's go with this one. So this one is going to be from James. This is going to be a lot of, I believe, nine different Nintendo powers and or some player's guides. Let's open this up. Now, one thing I did notice, a lot of people send this stuff normal mail, like priority instead of media. And when they're magazines, you can totally send it media mail. And I totally expect that. So it doesn't really bother me when it comes at medium mail rate or pace. But when I do priority, definitely is a sweet little, sweet little uh, thing to take. Got my bag. You can see the Nintendo Powers right there. This was a good little lot. Had some stuff I did not have, which is going to be this. First and foremost, this Breath of Fire Prima Guide, and I am pretty stoked about this. This is pretty nice. It is black and white, but it is a whole Prima Guide. All the different dragons. Oh, there's the the nice part. Look at that. The, the actual colored portion that has the little insert book. Definitely happy. I have tons of guides. I don't know if you can see them all over the ground. Uh, definitely RPG guys are some of my favorites. Now, let's go over the Nintendo Powers. And definitely some good ones here. So our first one is issue uh, 68. This is all the uh, glow in the dark. So is these little letters on the back. Or the little lines. Let's see. Does this one have the cards? So no cards. But it does have... Mega Man X2 poster. So good looking poster there. No cards, huh? Anything else in there? 
Nothing else in there? Okay, so that's uh, number one. Number two. Oh, is this issue? Okay, this is issue 31. This is the best looking issue 31. So, I didn't have issue 31. I bought three different lots that had issue 31 in it. And I think this one's the best one if it has a poster. And because the cover looks way better than the one I have. So, let's see. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah, this is a better poster than the one I have. So, this is going to be my upgrade. So, I'm happy. All right, what we got here? This one's issue 84. I don't know if I had this one. It is this torn off from its thing, so that's not very good. It's not, a, it's not an appealing factor, but it does have a Super Mario, oh, wait. What, oh, it has a Super Mario poster, Super Mario World, and then it has the uh, card, so that's chill. Oh, it's got both sets. That's actually really nice. Okay, so poster and it's got the cards. So not the most ideal magazine, but someone will appreciate it if I don't already have it. If I don't have it, I'm going to keep it. What is this one? This is a reissue. So they're asking them to subscribe. Issue 78, Killer Instinct. So let's see what we got here. Oh. Crazy the in Ultra 64 when they didn't get the chance to keep the Ultra name, they lost out to the company that already had the rights. Donkey Kong Country 2, so doo, very nice. Here's another uh, submission one Donkey Kong Country 2. This is issue 79. This one does have the cards in the back, very nice. This might be better than my copy. It's be I think it is. Yeah, I think this is better than my copy. Wow. Okay. I don't think this poster's ever been out. No, it has not. Earthworm Gen 2. Look at that. Whoo. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay. 50th anniversary. And number 50. Man, this magazine sold for 50 cents. <laughs> Wherever it sold at. So, oh, is that the cards in the back? What else we got? Uh, that's gone. That's okay. What is next? We got poster. It's the big 50 poster. Got a love it. Very pretty. Very pretty. Now we got this as issue 86. I know I don't have this one. I'm missing like a couple of the 80s for sure. So what poster is this? Robotech, what? See, it's Robotech. I love this because the Invid and all that stuff, that's basically Macross, the newer generation for the newer cats. I saw it like, I guess it came out in 86, but I saw it like 94. So I was torn. All right, so next up, what? It costs $25 to fix your Nintendo, that's what that advertisement said. So we got here. King Griffey Jr. winning run. Very nice. And nothing special up there. Castlevania 4, issue 32. I think this one also has. Oh, no poster. I don't know which one. This one has a lot. I always have trouble finding these with a poster in it. That particular issue, I'm not sure what it is about that particular issue. Here's issue 29. That's a good looking issue 29. All right, we got it. All right, and Flintstones. Again, I'm going to start memorizing all of these. I know I will for as much as I see them. All right, issue number 30, Final Fantasy. This one does not feel like it has a poster in it, but... Yeah, I've gotten to the point now I can feel that little bend. So two posters no, so far, no, no, uh, two magazines, no posters. It's issue 76. Oh, oh, what? Nintendo players, rent one video game, get one free at Blockbusters. Oh, 
will rent one video game, get a second game rental of equal or less of value. Not value of any other offers. All taxes and all taxes are the responsibility of the recipient. Membership rules apply. Offers expire September 30th, 1995. Man. I used to be a manager for Blockbusters. And I worked there. But I still have my Blockbusters card. Uh, from the last store that uh, got, I got assigned one from. And... I just, Blockbuster's bring me back, so. Hollywood video, I don't know if. Oh, I saved it. I literally caught it with two fingers. Issue 76, I know I do not have you, so. Mm. This is issue 72. I believe I have this one, but we will see. Oh, those slammers. Oh, I miss all that stuff. There we go. There we go. What do we got? Poster. And Secret of Evermore. Very nice. And this is the last one of this one. Sorry, I got to hit you. 73. And this one has the Donkey Kong uh, land. Nice. And. Primal Rage. Yes, Blizzard on the front. Gotta love. Oh, man. That is a great haul. So let's see, one Breath of Fire guide, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen magazines. Perfect. And two, no, fourteen magazines. Fourteen magazines in that lot. Super nice, super chill. All right, we got another one. Here's some more magazines. I know they are. I can tell by the weight. This one's coming, and this came media mail, so again, they would have saved $10. $10 if they would have shipped that media mail. I mean, I wouldn't have been mad. I wouldn't have been mad at all. Let's go ahead and open this up. And so the last package, I have no idea what the last package is. I know I have some stuff coming from a person. From, a, from a, a private purchase, so maybe that's it. Maybe maybe that's it. Okay, so this Mega Man Three better have a poster because this is the third one I've purchased that has not had a poster in it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven magazines. These look like uh, they got. Nibbled on by some uh, some beetles, but there's some low issues. Ten issues. Let's check them out. Uh, all right, this is from Florida, and this first one is Bart versus the Space Mutants. Oh, such a good poster. Such a good poster. <laughs> Why do you gotta have like these little? It's just on the front page too. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like the little weevil lights or whatever moths from being in a storage. But <laughs> Barbara's space meeting the poster is so dope. That's so nice. All right, Star Tropic issue twenty one. So we got here, and we got Metal Storm. Always a pleasure on that one. And then, of course, the Backdoor Metal Storm number 22 is going to be there. Oh, I'm going to fix that. Fix that stuff whenever you can. All right, so. Uh, this is one not have a poster? Oh, there it is. No? Yeah. Battle Toad! Wow. I was like, they should all have posters. That's why I was wondering where it was at. Every one of those should have posters. So if anything, these posters are what's the baller part. Here's a 23. So. <coughs> Little Malice in the corner over here. He's my producer this afternoon, Sin City. Hey, what's that game you're playing, Malice? Valorant. Valorant. Some game he's trying to get good at. Next issue, 24. 
And let's see. Oh. What? Do you used to be able to buy Nintendo back issues? Nintendo Power back issues are available. Uh, add them to your collection. They contain these exciting reviews. So volume 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All of them were back issue orderable. That's super cool. Tailspin. No, that's not the star one. All right. Now, you knock into the next one. That's a pretty good looking one. 25. Good, good front. Let's see. Mario Golf. Boom, Spy Hunter. This is another hard one to find in good condition. This one's definitely got a nice front. Not too much damage on it. Metroid baby. Wow. Gotta love it. This is issue 27. Alright, here we go. Star Wars, what? That is beautiful. Oh, such a good, good poster. The Vader going after Luke in the TIE Fighter. Or the X-Wing. Yeah, X Tie Fighter on the X-Wing. 28 Super Mario World. This one's probably the cleanest one out of them so far. Let's have the poster. Ooh, what do we got, baby? F Zero. This is a great lot. Such a good one. Star Trek. Another good looking front. This one's probably this is the best magazine out of all of them. Issue 29. It is by far the cherriest one. And again, Flintstones, we saw this earlier. As you noticed, and as I know, I knew this already, but the most common Nintendo powers are the ones you're seeing. The, that, that 92 through 94 area, because that's when the most people I feel like were getting it. Uh, that's why they started making changes later on after issue 80, because they were having a decline and subscriptions so you gotta think about that that golden era was like 92 through 96 and even then 96 was like already on the downside so I, I always hope to find these the best condition because they are the ones that everybody remembers and everybody wants okay so we got the face ball and this one actually has the uh, subscriptions only business reply so sometimes you get those and that one does so BAM two down or three now, we got one more to go. So that was another 24 magazines I could either add to this um, Nintendo Power lot that I have this Saturday, or I got another 60 or 40 magazines coming. I have more coming. So I might just have another lot in two weeks like I always do, try to have another one. But last but not least, let's go ahead and check out this last package. Uh, this one's coming from Jeremy. This one has my... Uh, um, lock box number, my PO box number, so I don't mind y'all seeing that. We actually I actively post, post it. But this is from Jeremy. Jeremy. I'm not sure what it is. It says it's from eBay, which I thought the other thing was this. So, let's see. Costco, three pack, ten bucks. Whatnot. This is a whatnot purchase. Okay. So this is a purchase from whatnot. So it's three things, I believe. So let's go with the first thing. So the first thing is this is a PSP adapter and the uh, PSP 380. Then there's going to be a PSP 380 as well. And last but not least, there should be a PSP 100. So three different chargers. 
Oh, yeah. And then I also picked up, since my son had criked at me the other day, that he couldn't play this game because his dad accidentally traded it to Jose, one of the guys he trades with all the time. But I had to pick up my son. That would be a great price. Man, it went for $14. But, hey, little Malice, you got another Smash Brothers again. Because you said I, I sold your Smash Brothers, so I bought you another one. What do you say? Don't sell my stuff, Dad. It wasn't his. It was probably mine. All right. Next up, we have one more thing in that lot. Now, this is kind of crazy. Um, I but he had two of these, and I ended up getting one. Oh man, it's a little bit right there. That's okay. So he had two of these from a brother or something. These uh, Metroid Prime Hunter. Now I have a complete one over there, and if this box is a little bit better, then I'm going to swap boxes. But if not, then I'll just have two for the moment being. Uh, definitely pretty neat. The story behind these was two different brothers had the same devices, same systems and everything. I mean, it literally has all the inserts. So it has the Metroid Prime Fusion, the stylus, all the things that came with it. They never opened it. They just took the system out. And the system's any old system. It could be any old generic. There's no shell variant. There's no extra Metroid, you know, stuff. It's just this showing this. But that's the most chill part. So very cool, very cool. Got all my items. I'm super happy. So 24 Nintendo Powers plus a player's guide, a Switch game, DS box, and three PSP chargers. Thanks for hanging out, watching me open up these packages. If this is the type of oh, a Chrono Trigger, I can't, I can't, I can't forget that we opened up Chrono Trigger. Out of all that, this is the one thing I didn't talk about. <laughs> so, but yeah, definitely super cool, very nice uh, opening. So, thanks for hanging out with us. If you did like this, hit that like, subscribe, and follow button. Check us out on our other stuff, where we stream video games, retro games, and we host our live streams and then our whatnots and all our eBay sales as well. Thank you for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.